On today's video, we are gonna be showing you how we make smoked venison ring bologna. Um, a few things you're going to need will be a meat grinder and also a meat stuffer. We recently upgraded our equipment as you're gonna see in the video. We run um, a power stuffer, a power grinder, and also a power mixer, but you do not need all of these things, especially if you're making smaller batches. We just make a lot of this um, for the whole family, so we figured it would be a good investment for us. But uh, we're gonna take you through the steps of how we make it. Right now we are prepping our natural casings for our venison ring bologna. We have to run cold water through our casings just to get the salt off of them. This kind of gets tricky because they're so long that they get tangled up. But We have arrived. Hey, Jerry. Oh, look at him, look at him. Are you ready, Jerry? Nice. Take them outdoors on my shirt. <laughs> Atta boy. So we have 30 pounds of meat per batch. We mix it 50-50, so 15 pounds of venison, 15 pounds of pork. So you're going to use about 14 ounces of seasoning per 30 pounds of meat. This is our family recipe, we cannot give that out to you, but this is where you can go ahead and get creative with whatever spices you want to put into your meat. Make sure you evenly spread your seasoning into your meat as you're grinding. This way you won't be left with one huge clump as you enter the mixing stage. Welcome to the uh, sausage party. Christian's <laughs> sausage party. Yep. Tip her up a little bit. There. You got a fry pan? Down here? No, I don't. Oh. Okay, we have to grind one and a half yellow onions per 30 pound bag. How's that? You run that through the broad process here? there? key for the stuffing is make sure your stuffer is packed tight, otherwise you get all kinds of air pockets in the balloon. You roll it in a little ball like that. Slammer. That way, <coughs> when you're pushing your sausage out, you get all kinds of air in your casing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ik heb het gemaakt dat je hebt een pinste pezel ja. aan. Ik heb je dat scherm in. En dat is een smalle loop. Ja. All right, next step is going to be grab the casings. We're going to tie these off. Just going to tie an overhand knot right towards the top of the casing. And then we're going to put another overhand knot in it just to make sure it's nice and secure. I've got some tape on my fingers because it wears a groove right in there and puts a blister in there, so that's going to help prevent that for me. So, probably not the best method, but it works for me. <laughs> Make sure you have somebody good running the stuffer because you want your rings evenly. You don't want a big one and a small one because they don't smoke very well then. We have a rookie on the job today in training. <clears throat> By the end of the batch, he might have her down. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 another one up in pocket right now. Yeah. Which is just a Just poke out, if you got any air bubbles, just gonna poke out some air bubbles. You don't wanna poke too many holes, cause you don't want them to blow out. But, any air pockets, get them out of there. How is it, Jerry? Mm, so good. Delicious. So good. Now we're in the smokehouse, and the key to this is slow and cold. This is a cold smoke, so you don't want the temperature to reach over 100 degrees. Uh, probably on a nice day, six, seven hours will be plenty. If it's windy or humid and stuff, it might take a little longer, but about six to seven hours it takes to smoke. You'll see it when the casings will start to turn a dark brown, that's when you can pull them off. Let them cool and then you can pull them. And we'll show you when we pull them out too, what you're looking for yeah. um, after they're done smoking. There we go. Yep. Today we are smoking with uh, some apple wood. You guys can use whatever wood you want, but uh, for this batch we're going to be smoking with apple. So That's going to end for today. We'll be back tomorrow to show you the end result. Well, we're back here, day two, pulling the ring baloney out of the smoker. We'll take it out here and show you what it looks like. Now that we have all of our bologna nice and smoked, the last step we're gonna do here today is vacuum seal all of the ring bologna into individual bags. Oh, one 
I think I'll make it. I hope this video encouraged you guys to want to make your own venison ring bologna. As you can see, there are only five key steps that you have to take. Number one is going to be prepare your casings. I recommend natural casings. They are your best overall product. Step number two, grind your meat. Step number three is going to be mix in all of your ingredients and spices that you have. Step number four is going to be put the meat into the casings. And step number five is going to be smoke. Again, the key to smoking is slow and cold. You do not want to get too hot too fast, otherwise your rings are going to dry out and you're going to be left with a very dry ring bologna at the end. Um, as you can see in this video, we have a power mixer, a power stuffer, and a big walk-in smoker. You guys do not need all of this equipment. We made 200 pounds of meat, just to put in perspective of what we made that day. Most of you guys are probably going to make, you know, 5, 10 pounds, I'm not sure. But in the description of this video, I'm going to give you an ingredients list of how to make 10 pounds or roughly 10 rings. So check that out. And also feel free to contact us on any of our social media platforms. We will try to answer your questions the best we can. Again, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.